Earth's core has gold to cover every surface of the planet. 1. Rocks Professor Elliot and Dr. Will Bold from Bristol University in England worked on their hypotheses that gold contents at the Earth's surface were once much, much higher than at present. The men received funding from the Natural Environment Council, the Deutsche Forschungsgemeinschaft, and the Science and Technology Facilities Council. The quest started with four billion-year-old rocks found in Greenland by University of Oxford Professor Morbath. Both scientists worked to prove their theory by analyzing the rock's tungsten content compared to modern-day rocks. They found 15 parts per million drop-off points from isotope 182W found in modern-day rocks compared to the ancient Greenland rocks. This experiment showed that the difference in tungsten content proved their hypothesis. 2. Evidences Geologists further substantiated the study conducted by Professor Elliot and Dr. Wilbold from Bristol University at the University of Maryland. University of Toronto geologist James Brennan asserted the same theory as previously stated and did so in agreement with geologists from the University of Maryland. As the Earth's core was being formed billions of years ago, the very high temperatures melted the precious minerals from the rocky crust, allowing the minerals to solidify after they seeped down into the Earth's mantle. Another query cropped up why there are sizable amounts of other minerals still found on the rocky crusts, like rhodium and platinum. The geologists found in their study that these minerals were not redeposited on the rocky crusts from down below the Earth's surface. They theorized further that meteorites and comets were responsible for the current mineral deposits found on the rocky crusts, and these occurred later after the Earth had solidified. 3. Gold Digging The extraction of gold from below the Earth's surface could have started as early as 7,000 years ago. This is evidenced by the gold jewelry and other artifacts of antiquities found in the Varna Necropolis grave sites in Bulgaria, which was built sometime between 4700 BC and 4200 BC. Another ancient gold mine is located on the Sakdrisi site in the southern portions of Georgia's nation. The ancient Romans also mined gold, which was one of their primary reasons for invading Britain and Transylvania. Roman gold mining extended into the Balkans, Egypt, Armenia, Nubia, and Anatolia under Emperor Justinian's rule. During the medieval period in Europe, the Slovak Kremnica mine was the biggest source of the mineral. The 19th century ushered in the gold rush in major parts of the New World as well. The Victorian Gold Rush, Klondike Gold Rush, California Gold Rush, and the Witwatersrand all led to establishing cities and fortunes in what were once wilderness areas. 4. Deep Down Below Historically, the Earth was thought by Edmund Halley in 1692 to be a hollow shield with a thickness of 500 miles. This shield was thought to encompass two other shells that encircle an inner core. This theory was published in the Philosophical Transactions of the Royal Society of London. Today, however, we know that the Earth has five chemical layers. These are the inner core, outer core, lower mantle, upper mantle, and crust. The geologic sections therein are the inner core, outer core, lower mesosphere, upper mesosphere, mantle, upper mantle, crust, and lithosphere. The mechanical layers of the Earth are the inner core, outer core, mesospheric mantle, asthenosphere, and lithosphere. Research, Vitor Hugo Lizard Leonard. Hello friends, if you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, strengthen our work, it's very important to expand the channel. I'll tell you, thank you.